Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another amazing edition of Let's Talk 1943. I am so excited today. Y'all don't know what y'all about to get. We have Sonia Jackson Miles here, and we have so much to talk about, about sisterhood, about her, about what's coming up in the end of August, a major thing. So we're going to definitely get into that. But like I always say, you ready? Let's talk. All right, we're back, we're back. So let me do a formal introduction, but before we do that, I wanna start with a prayer if you don't mind. Uh, Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so blessed and honored, Lord, that you have given me this opportunity to speak to Ms. Jackson Miles and to be able to you to use me as a vessel as well as her to get this message out about, about sisterhood and it's well needed in this world today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. So Sonia Jackson Miles, she's the founder of Sister Accord. The foundations are tending to have, okay, y'all, one billion, billion would it be, girls and women to learn to love themselves and each other. The foundation works to inspire future female leaders, starting with change and how girls and women treat, support, and interact with each other. The foundation has three focuses, educating girls and women, enlightening girls and women about the power of sisterhood and eliminating bullying violence against them as well. So welcome, Sonia Jackson Miles. Ah, thank you so much, sister, for having me. It's an honor to be with you. Oh, same here, same here, same here. So let's just dive in. Okay, first, tell me your why. What is your why? My why is... This is what I have been created to do. When we tap into the essence of what we have been created to do, amazing things happen. And so my why was I had to, and I ran from it. I ran from purpose for many years because I was afraid. But I was, this was all planted inside of me as I was formed in my mother's womb. Mm. And now, to know that we are transforming the lives of girls and women all around the world with helping them understand how to love themselves. You gotta learn how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And then seeing it extend to their sisters as they really do this work, right? Mm -hmm. This is daily work. And then understanding their value and worth. Oh my goodness. I mean, you know, I can't even put it. You can't put a price tag on that. And that's no. my why. Well, there you go. And you know, it's well needed, Sonia, because this world teaches us to separate, to divide, That's right. That's to, right. you know, to talk about each other, to be the crab barrel thing, you know, pull each other down, especially black women, especially black mm. women. So mm. this is well needed. And seeing that you're trying to hit one billion, what made you come up with that? Like what made you, was there like a vision you had or what was that? Well, you know, I pray before I do anything, right? It's That's part right. of who I am. And so I said, as I was laying everything down, I keep a journal with me at all mm -hmm. times. That way I can write things down as they come to me. I do my prayer and meditation in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that's when I get my download oftentimes. And so I wrote down a million, <laughs> million. And I was like, uh-uh, you've already touched a million because I had Essence magazine multiple times. You know, I had gone to all these places, right? And so mm -hmm. he's like, no, no, the number is a billion because I want you to really understand that this is about doing my work. Mm. If you really want to understand the importance of loving on people and not mm -hmm. judging people and helping people heal, this is what, this, this is what love is all about. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, as I was running <laughs> and I got <laughs> run for your purpose. <laughs> trying to negotiate, how many of y'all out there try to negotiate with God? All right. Uh -uh, right. Some of this stuff. No, you can't do that. You've got to really sit in it. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through a period of being quiet. I had mm -hmm. to be silent. I had to be quiet and just sit in his presence and say, okay, what is it that you would have me to do? Because I really don't want to quit this job, right? I don't want to leave what I have become comfortable with. 
as my mm -hmm. mother said, that good paying job. You mean to tell me you're going to put that good paying job? All right, mom. Yes, I'm gonna do what I believe. I'm that generation don't get that. That generation no. don't get that, Celia. They don't no. get that. No. And so, as I sat in it and was quiet and really mm -hmm. felt like I was hearing uh, that download, I wrote down one billion. It scared me. And then I said, yeah. "Okay, I have to go from writing it down to saying it aloud." So when I said. One billion. When I first started saying it, I was like, "Oh, it would make me scared and excited at the same time." But guess what? Mm -hmm. After ten years, so this is our ten-year anniversary coming up, August thirty-first of this year. We have expanded into Africa. We have chapters, two chapters in Zimbabwe. We just launched in Malawi. I have a whole oh. list of other countries. Who we've, I, I have people there who said, all right, we're next, we're next. So now I literally see how we're going to get to the billion and it's blowing my mind. Well, you know what like he says, you write down if you believe it shall happen. You know, yes. the power of the tongue is, is amazing. And you know, when you said I, a billion. Like, and this is the other thing, sister, that I want to uh -huh. be really clear about for your listeners. Don't overcomplicate it. So the mm -hmm. word says, write it down, make it plain, right? Keep That's it, right. Keep it simple and just be clear about, drive transparency and understanding what you believe you've been called to do. Not what somebody else says, right? Because mm -hmm. there were a lot of people mm -hmm. who said to me, oh, a billion women? Oh, getting women to get along? Good luck with that. <laughs> so I had, I had a lot of people doubting, right? Mm -hmm. But I could not, I could not, let that come into my heart because that would have stopped me from moving forward it would it would because just saying billion alone saying it out loud you're kind of concerned with how it make other people feel or how you would sound to other people because it's not yeah. you because you no. you believe what god told you but it's always yeah. when you say it out loud you looking at others like okay he's supposed to think i'm crazy and we start worrying about <laughs> we still worrying about what they say instead of worrying about oh what God, God told us to do. And that, oh but that's God. that's human nature, though. It's like you, it's you that's nature. the worldly nature, but you you have the biblical nature, and we yeah. we fight with that all the time because the world that's we right. live in is telling us to you know to not dream and not think that big. That's right. and, you know, and another thing I wanted to touch on because I read something about school, the schools and somebody has said something to me and it really, really made a lot of sense. The school systems are not made for us to dream. Mm. It's, it's, it, they teach us to be their workers mm. because they wow. need people. To, they need people to work. Everybody can't be a uh, uh, um, uh, Steve Jobs. Everybody can't be, you know, these people out there, right? But they realized that it was more than what was offered to them, right? Mm -hmm. You need school to learn. But yes. do they actually teach you to dream big and be able to be this big, you know, massive? Like, think about it. If you was in school and you wrote down, I'm going to touch one billion women. <laughs> Your teacher be like, okay, baby, that's so sweet. Okay. <laughs> That's so go cute. Sit down somewhere. <laughs> go sit down somewhere. And then mm -hmm. when you when I'm thinking about that, I see that you have a sister core and leadership development. You had did a program that right. is in the Cincinnati public schools. So you're actually teaching these women to think big and be big. You know what I'm and saying? That's what, I was ready. that's what I was literally ready to say to you is that I am so grateful that I have worked with a number of different school districts who are mm -hmm. saying we must do this. We must yeah. help girls understand how to tap in and boys, how to mm -hmm. tap into their gifts. And that's mm -hmm. what the curriculum is all about. So yes, co-founding that program in 2016 was a highlight of my life. Here is the one of the largest school districts in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. And they chose my curriculum. Now, you know, I was scared, right? I this is the well. girl who was scared to to leave the corporate role because I love my job, right? Mm -hmm. And here is this district that was, you know, they had a, a program for boys, 
but they didn't have a leadership development program for girls and the sister core curriculum was selected. And so, you know, when I think about the legacy of this work, because this is not about me, when no. I think about how people are able to take it and live it, that just, that just, you know, blows me away. And I'm so humbled and so honored by it. But there are districts out here who are focusing now on helping students dream. And that's mm -hmm. the beauty of it. But this needs to be in every district, in every school, all around the world. Because when we help our young people tap into those gifts and pursue their dreams, everybody wins. You know that whole all boats rise? Yes. We all yes. rise. We're always, we're, we're going to that next level of excellence, as I call it. And that's what, yes. that's what we've done with the curriculum. That's amazing. I mean, that doesn't happen all the time. Like this is major because it got to go through yeah. a lot of red tape to be in it's a significant. school district. It takes a lot to get something pushed through and approved through any kind of school district. Just the school board alone is a fight. So for you to be able to get past all that and they see it and it's been how many years now? 2016? It's since, yeah, since 2016. Yeah, That's amazing. That is Isn't totally that amazing. amazing? That, but That's again, true. You got to, and this is what I want your listeners to really understand. God is no respecter of person. So if he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you. But guess what? I had to be ready. So I had to write the, remember that, that silent period? I had mm -hmm. to get prepared because mm -hmm. guess what? If they were looking for a curriculum and I hadn't done my work, I hadn't done my part, then I wouldn't have been ready. The when right, they said, this is what we mm -hmm. wanted, right. I had it. I was able to say here, here it is, you know? And so that, that silent period in, in, in preparation mm -hmm. is so important for your listeners and sisters, you know, just, just being still and understanding and mapping out how you want to bring that dream to life is everything. It is everything. And just to let my listeners um, and my listeners as well, we have a podcast and my viewers to know. Now, Sonia is, is is talking because she's walked this walk, right? So she we had many shows about leaving the corporate world. She done that. And you did it in fear, but you did it in faith. You know what I'm saying? You Ooh. can be scared, but be scared and do it. It's a difference. Yeah. So you done that. <laughs> then you said, okay, I'm going to tap into the school system. That's something that's outside the realm of what you was doing. You did something different right there. So there you go. So you did that. Other people recognize your work. You've been yeah. featured on the Fortune Magazine, CNN, New York Times, Today Show, Good Morning America, Bloomberg, Essence Magazine several times, Black Enterprise Magazine, Business Week, News Nation, Huffman Post, and the list goes on and on. So imagine that when you listen to God, what happens? He takes it and he runs with it. You don't have to be, you didn't chase this down. These nope. people came to you. They saw what you did and honored you. You was honored at the Essence Magazine Woman for, for Power. So tell us, I, I want to talk about this for a second because I want people to understand that it happens to everyone, not just special people, but nope. if you listen and you obey and be consistent. Yeah. How do you feel when I just name that list down? I'm like, wow, because, and this is why <laughs> so, so many of my friends, and this is why who you spend your time with sisters is so important. Mm. So many of my friends will pull my coattail and say, Sonia, you need to acknowledge this. You need to sit in this because a lot of times I don't, I don't want to talk about me. I just want to serve. Right. And they're like, mm -hmm. no, you need to really think about how far God has brought you. He is delivering and has delivered on everything he promised. Mm -hmm. If you just mm -hmm. would obey. So you got to sit in that. And so as you were, you know, saying those things, you know, I, I could sometimes get uncomfortable, but I'm just. Yeah, you, see, you get uncomfortable. You, you get yeah. that little like, okay, okay, hurry up, hurry up. Finish the list. Line <laughs> up, line up. And I just, you know, I'm learning to just take it all in and just be. And um, that I'm using that to help fuel what the next goals and dreams and aspirations are. So thank you. Thank you for that. 
Yeah, because I want I want my listeners and viewers to understand that this could happen to all of us. Oh, do not be scared. Everybody. Do not Amen. be scared. And That's I'm right. learning. I'm learning. You don't have to chase it. It's going to chase nope. you if you do what yeah. you're supposed to do. This, yeah. this, these things, these accolades I just named was they gave it to her. She didn't go after them and say, hey, I want you to recognize me. Can you recognize me, please? No, they saw what she did. They saw her work and they recognized her for her work that she did because she listened to what God told her to do. And she left a comfortable, well-paying position, like her mother said, to go into something that she did not know was going to work out. She didn't understand. She didn't know what's nope. going to happen. She didn't nope. know, but she trusted. And when you trust the process, this is what happens. When you trust the process, like you do your work and you yes. lean on his understanding, not your own. This is what happens. So That's I just true. wanted to make sure we talk about that because this is what my show is about. It's about empowering, uplifting, and motivating my audience. So I want to make sure they understand of what you did. That's why I said, this is an amazing woman that we have today. And I've been blessed to meet people like this in my life and my walk to bring it to y'all. So y'all be able to, to, to see this, like, this is major. She's a major person. She took her time to come here and talk to you today. She could have been anywhere else in this world. And she gave me this, grace me on my platform. So I want to thank you so much, Sonia. I really, really do. That's my really honor. Thank you. You're an incredible, incredible sister. From the moment I met you on the phone, <laughs> I knew just how incredible you are. So right back at you. And I, and I totally receive it, totally receive it. So, and I want to, uh, we'll, we'll, let's talk about something else real quick. We'll come back to that. Cause I we want to talk about the 10th anniversary. Ooh. Can't wait. Yes. We're going to run that down. We're going to talk about it and we're going to, you're going to let everybody know who's going to be there. We're going to have all that. So let's talk about what we have in common too. So we both went to HBCUs and I wanted to recognize your HBCU. Yours is our FAMU. We all know about FAMU, the Rattlers. Yes, I see it. <laughs> you and know, that we got band, Yes. That amazing marching band that y'all have. Come on now. Come on now. So y'all no, people no other. listening? No, no <laughs> I'm going to give this is yeah, I'm going to give it to y'all. I know, I know. We I'm going to give it to y'all. I went to Virginia State, but I'm going to give, you know, I'm going to give it to y'all. Y'all got a good band. I'm not going to take that from you. Uh, we love it. We love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to take that from you. As well as she's a member of D9. She's a, a yes. member of the amazing, lovely ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority yes. Incorporated. And um, they are beautiful women. They do amazing, amazing things in our communities. Um, as you know, we got one of them in the White House right now. She's the VP. So, uh, <laughs> so we got some amazing AKs doing some amazing things in this country right now. So thank y'all for your service. So I do appreciate that. And she's a member of the Lynx Incorporated. So that's another yeah. amazing organization. They do amazing yeah. things as well. And yeah. so, and on top of that, she's doing all this other stuff. So it's possible. We could do it all. We could do it all. You know, just like she said, sit still, listen. Let God tell you what to do and just follow him. It's going to sound crazy sometimes. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going to be like, what? <laughs> what but it's going to make sense later. Yeah, absolutely. She's like, yeah. what? Me? A billion yeah. people. Me. I know me. Yeah. God, why, <laughs> why me? Like, why would you think that I could do that? Right? He's like, exactly. So for my listeners today, if you're, um, and I know I see everybody's on here, so let's comment, let's give us some love as well as um, tell me what you think sisterhood means to you. Like what does sisterhood mean to you? Give us some some feedback with that because that's what this is about today. It's talking about sisterhood. So Sonia, when we're talking about sisterhood, what's, the, what's your picture perfect sisterhood? Like if you see two women together, what is that in your mind that you could say, Okay, what I did it worked because I see it happen. So what is that to you? Oh man, I have so many amazing stories and testimony. I just I can't wait for you to meet our sisters and the sister core family. When I tell you, and I was just talking to my sister last night, and I said, mm -hmm. Wow, the way we love on each other in this organization, I, people tell me that they've never experienced it before. Like never in their lives. And that's what really touches me so deeply. Uh, you know, like today, I'm wearing blue and white. 
because I wanted to honor you. <laughs> I wanted to honor you. He's so representing so us, baby. Yes, yes. It's the little thing. A lot of mm-hmm. times people think it's the big things, but it's the little things. I know that you like strawberry ice cream, so I send you some. You know, or I send you a card. I keep a stack of cards and I just, as I'm praying and thinking about people, I'll mm-hmm. just send a card or I'll call I'll instead of texting. Again. You know, mm-hmm. it's the little things that we do consistently that build up these long-term relationships mm-hmm. that are good for our health emotionally, mentally, and physically. Mm-hmm. A lot of times people think, oh, Sister Gore, oh, that's so nice. Hey, it's, it's okay to say it's nice, but this is bigger than being nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, there's all sorts of research that shows what happens when people have healthy relationships, healthy friendships. It can mm-hmm. lower blood pressure. It, th- there's so many wonderful things that can happen. That uh, and, and there's some studies that say longevity of life happens when we have re- these relationships uh, and so i wanted to model and you know i saw women getting along well growing up in my household i'm the youngest of four and my mm-hmm. mother had amazing relationships with her friends long-standing relationships my sisters had long-standing relationships so i knew it was possible when I meet people today and they say, oh, uh-uh, I don't do women. No, too much drama. Or no, no, you know. So I, I'm always heartbroken when I hear those things because I'm like, oh, you're missing out on such good stuff. Because that sisterhood, mm-hmm. husbands, boyfriends, they're great, right? They serve their right. purpose. Right. But when I have been down, 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 mm-hmm. it was my sisters mm-hmm. who picked me up dusted me off and said, come on now, girl. Now, you know, we're not doing that. Now, I can't leave you here. Come on. I got you. And I see so many, some of our sisters have uh, started businesses together. Um, Mm -hmm. Many of them, they stay in touch long after our events and they become on, come, they're on each other's personal boards. This is without me. Oh, wow. I'm I'm not there. But, the, but I have created an environment mm-hmm. where people can just be, and it's a safe space. And so people can come together and just love on each other and, mm-hmm. and, and be seen by each other, right? So many right. people say, I feel invisible. No, we don't do that. We don't make differences. You're important, so I'm gonna get, treat you this way, and you're not important, <laughs> so you get treat this way. We don't do that. People do and, it though. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying in our family, in the sister core family, we don't do that. And so I think because I have structured this in this way, that's why the the relationships are sustained long after mm-hmm. you know the event is over and I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Which is what yeah. I want. what I desire. And, and and it lasts. It's not just doing it, but it that's lasts. Right. It stays the test right. of time. So that's it's not the thing. fake stuff. You know, it's this yeah. is real stuff. We don't, it's time to take those masks off and just be real. Authenticity is so incredibly important. And so when, when you were saying the sisterhood and how some women say, I don't do women, that's so, that's very common. It's not, oh, yeah. it's more common than what it needs to be. I hear that a lot. And they put more trust in men. Yeah. And, they just happy to have the boyfriend and husband and they would just be with them all the time and don't have any friend. Like I don't do women. And I'm like, well, you are a woman. So you don't do yourself. Like, so that's telling me you don't love you. So you can't love you. You, We got to start there first. You don't love you. So that's why you can't send that love to anyone else because you don't love yourself. Cause if you don't do women, you don't do yourself. So you're saying I don't love myself. So therefore I am not loving nobody else. And that's really a problem. It really is. And that's some great, amazing women out here. There's women out here that sometimes they even closer to their own, they, to them, to their own bi- biological systems. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You know, because like you said, you were born into that, but you choose your friends. Right. That's you right. know, and you got to learn how to have friendships. And that's why I feel it's important that we had you on here because sisterhood 
is learned. Like she said from the beginning, it's learned. You got to learn yeah. how to be someone's sister. You got to yeah. learn how to be a friend. Friendship that's then, you know what? I always thought it was amazing. I always thought it was amazing, Sonia, that any kind of relationship, friendships, relationships, partnership, whatever you want to call it, we put so much effort in training at work. We train our jobs. We, we train at the gym. We trained at all, you know, in the service, you know, we go to service, we have to learn how to do stuff, train, but we yeah. never train for relationships. We don't take classes for friendships. We don't take no kind of classes for being, uh, being married or going to counseling or doing, we don't do, we just jump into it and go, oh, we'll, it'll figure <laughs> itself out. You That's what my curriculum is for. That's exactly, yeah. you hit the nail. You're so wise. You hit the nail on the head. That's exactly why I developed curriculum, because guess what? We have to unlearn all of that ratchet stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is learned. And, and get this bullying starts as early as the age of four. So we have oh, yeah. preschoolers who are bullying. I might be a baby and you're bullying, right? So we have to unlearn all of that. And mm -hmm. that's why that curriculum is so important, because it gives us strategies and tools to, to have authentic relationships, mm -hmm. healthy relationships, sustained relationships. How mm -hmm. do you communicate when something is goes off the rails, right? Do you just shut down? You know, do you, are you able to talk through it? Are you able right. to effectively use your voice, like find your voice and then use it, right? And so there are a lot of things that we teach as part of the Sister Report curriculum so mm -hmm. that we can have these these healthy outcomes and live our best lives that's what this is all about at the end of the day that's right that's right and, and that's where it starts at the core we we don't have that core down that core is the problem that's right. that's we, we basically put the cart in front of the horse and yeah. we just <laughs> run and we don't want to fix nothing and we we don't really sit in it and go okay something's not right this is not how it's supposed to go because they don't have right. good examples around them either you know, because right. it's learned behavior. You, the bad stuff is learned behavior. You got to right. relearn new behavior. That's but you, right. you, you did learn behavior. See, we think we That's didn't right. learn. Yes, you did. The, what you're doing you now did. was learned behavior. That's it's right. not right, yeah. but you learned That's it. Because right. you came yeah. out with nothing and you attached to what was in your surroundings and you learned that. Yeah. Now you got to kind of go, okay, let me just re reprogram my mind here. Because right. when you said life is so amazing, and I, I I'm so blessed to finally get that, to finally understand yeah. life is for your benefit. It's there for you. It's not supposed to be against you. But yeah. if you take these ways of doing what you're doing and not trying to learn nothing else and just going to be miserable, you're going to be. If That's you say right. you're going to be bad, man, you're going to manifest it. It's going to happen. That's so right. why can't you manifest the good, right? So That's let's right. manifest good. So That's Sonia right. is trying to teach us that today by telling us that sisterhood is real. It's amazing. It's organizations like her and other people out here that's trying to get this word out because it's seriously needed. This world is so divided right now. We so need divided. to be together. We need to be That's together. Right. So That's I'm right. so happy that you have brought this up. The only way that we can do it, sister, is mm -hmm. to do what I call this heart work. So if people mm -hmm. follow me, they'll see me saying hashtag heart work. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do. And, and, and again, this is daily. We have to stop dividing ourselves mm -hmm. and separating ourselves and look for those ways where we can begin to come together. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I talk about girls and women, we have a two pronged strategy. If people try mm -hmm. to, box me in see i don't i've never been somebody that follows what other people do i've always created my own lane that's just who i am and mm -hmm. so people used to try to box me in early on they're like well you can't say girls and women well why can't i why not you no you need it is it women or is it girl it's both right <laughs> and so, like, y'all not gonna change what i believe i should be doing and and mm -hmm. and so got to be so careful who you share these dreams with because Ooh, people stop. will try to <laughs> try to I'm come about to throw something their, at you I know they could try to come from their frame of reference 
No, it's girls and women because I got to get to the girls before they start all of this foolish behavior. <laughs> and I got to get to the women who never got the message. So I got to get mm -hmm. to both. So it is a dual path that we focused on. But it makes sense because it's like, you, you, okay, I just do the women. So don't get me wrong. I love doing what I'm doing, but I'll love to do it less. So can we can we start from where it starts from? So I can kind of do both. Okay. I can work on you, but I can go That's over here and get them. So they won't transfer to who you are right now. That's right. That's right. The, that the you. I want to kind of shift the. I'm gonna shift it. I'm doing more of you, but I'm gonna end up being all the way over here. Cause if I take care of all of you, we got you. Now I can get all the ones that come in. Cause they, it's always gonna be kids. They always gonna be kids. So I can get y'all. I need to get y'all out my way. So let's get y'all right. <laughs> so I can work over here with these kids. Because, <laughs> you know, that minds are, their minds are more sponge. They got more yeah. sponge in their mind, you know, because they're younger. Yeah. When you're dealing with people like, you know, 50s and 40s, you know, it's durable because it happened to me. It's durable, but it takes a little bit because they want to hold on to what they know and want to trust right. the process. Right. People don't trust the process. That's right. Yeah, that's those experiences. But you know what's so what's so amazing? And this is why Joy can exist in the midst of chaos, in the midst of challenges. Happiness is mm -hmm. fleeting, it's circumstantial, right? But mm -hmm. you know what I love about this work is that, you know, we, we're seeing evidence. We, we mm -hmm. see the evidence of what happens when you lead with love. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so often, People will say, oh, that's weak. Kindness is weak. You know, what are you talking about? Weak? No, when we actually put these things into practice, mm -hmm. amazing things happen. This is how we'll heal the land, right? Because girls and women stepping into their destinies and their purpose, and that's right. helping, helping their families heal, helping communities heal. That's how you do it. So we always mm -hmm. say we're we're inspiring one woman and one girl at a time. And that's what's so powerful about how God gave this to me. Because he knew mm -hmm. he knew what was needed before I knew, right? Before knew. I was even exactly. born. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So that's what's so it just fills me with joy knowing that we are doing the things that are gonna help our children's children's children live a better life and live a life filled with love right because you're breaking the cycles breaking the you're cycles breaking, you're breaking cycles yeah so yeah let's cycles talk <laughs> the functionals yes yeah a lot of them and it's normal they made it normal so they don't well, see that we are normalizing wrong. dysfunction and we're saying no mm -hmm. we're not normalizing dysfunction we're going That's to right. call it what it is so that we can actually heal from it because if you don't acknowledge it you are absolutely not going to be able to put any strategy in place that helps you to nope. move past it no because you don't you don't know until you know right, right? so right. that's it so let's talk about this this really caught my eye you actually co-wrote a song <laughs> okay so you know what when I close my eyes and you did it with a Grammy nominated musician, songwriter, producer, Paul Rudolph. So tell me how that come, how did that come about? Well, you know, my every, I thought I would just stop and just shut it all down. When my mother passed away on June 10th of 2019, I just tell oh, you wow. that woman, she was my everything. I mean, just, she's just everything. She's such a special woman to so many people, right? And so right. when she passed, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go sit down. And my mother was so excited about the sister core. She used to wear all her sister core bracelets. She had like five <laughs> bracelets on at one time. 
And so she brought her baby, I, brought her baby, brought her baby, honey. And now she's up there. I always tease and laugh. I tell my dad, "Mama's up in heaven, getting on Jesus's nerve, saying that <laughs> Jesus, this is my baby. You got to do this for my baby, right?" <laughs> all these amazing things have happened since she passed i said that's mama up there pleading that's with right. jesus on my behalf and so i started writing in my journal mm. and i wrote this song and i said wow this could be a song and i want house music because i love house music and uh -oh. so i wanted to different because i love to dance even though i'm not good at it but i still like to dance right <laughs> And so I wanted something to celebrate her life and to mm -hmm. help so many people. So many people are dealing with loss and I wanted mm -hmm. to help with my grief journey to help them be able to think about their loved ones. And so when I called Paul, Paul's mother and I used to work together at Ford Motor Company. And mm -hmm. when I called him, he said, sure, let me think about it. And he came back and he says, I think yeah, I think we could do something with this. And so okay. he uh, put it all together and oh, people love the song. It's a beautiful song. And again, like I said, it's house music. And so I, I, I was joking. I said, now here I was going into a, a genre of music that I thought, oh, okay. Yeah, this is not too many people are releasing songs in this, in this space. And then two weeks later, Beyonce released her house music song. And I said, oh, <laughs> so, you know, I was ahead of the game there for a bit. But this song is so, it's so fun. It's beautiful. And, um, you know, it's just a tribute to my mother, uh, who was just an incredible woman who uh, education was everything for her. She was very mm -hmm. adamant and always inspired uh, girls and, and young men to, to get their education and so. That's why I started the Nella D. Jackson Scholarship uh, Fund as well. So uh, the foundation now has given $72,500 in scholarships. Oh, wow. That's nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's real nice. I actually started, it's funny you said that, because I told you that we are, I don't understand yeah. what's happening. I actually started a, a scholarship with my father as well. My father passed away yeah. uh, almost 11 years ago, and um, mm. he worked at General Motors oh. for 30 years. Wow. <laughs> he worked the journal wow. for 30 years. And so I did a scholarship in, on in his name on his behalf at the community college here where I live for them. Um, they have the auto mechanic major. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's every year, beautiful. me and my mom, we fund it. Mm -hmm. oh, I said, that's beautiful. Yeah. So that's funny you said that because I'm like, uh, duh, here comes something else. So. <laughs> Yes. But yes, oh. but guess where that song could be played at? That we're gonna definitely hear it at. Where? On your cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna let's be talk about it. Here. Yeah, let's look. Let's talk about that. We're gonna be house music all night long. So let's talk about. Long. I know. Let's talk about your amazing cruise. I want to really wrap this up with the cruise because when I read all the things and I was like, okay, this is, this is really nice. And then you keep adding on and adding on and adding on. I've been, <laughs> so, okay. So we know that this is your 10th year anniversary. So you want to make, make yeah. it big, do it big. Right. So let's start right. from there. So tell everybody about your cruise. So, uh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, this is again, another God thing. Um, one of my new partners from last year is triple a and right. uh, you know here i had written in my journal that i wanted <laughs> to do a cruise i used to speak on tom joiner's cruises right mm -hmm. and so you know here i am writing down my dreams and they ask have you ever thought about hosting a cruise i'm like oh my gosh you remember what you just <laughs> said yes, a moment <laughs> i I didn't have to go chase it, right? You just said That's that right. earlier. That's right. All of these things will be added unto you when you focus on doing what you've mm -hmm. been called to do. That's right. And so 
I love them as a partner. They're my new partner and, oh, I just love those folks. And um, so they have come together with the Sister mm -hmm. Corps Foundation. And we have a four day cruise that's leaving Miami, August 28th, the day after my birthday. All uh, right, nice. <laughs> yeah, my birthday is August 27th. So August 28th to September 1st. And mm -hmm. we have two stops. We go to the Bahamas and we go to Coco Cay Beach. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an empowerment conference. And so the theme for our empowerment conference is embracing freedom to live your best life. We have presenters and speakers who are going to be talking about these things. Uh, we have four days with four themes, love, joy, peace, and patience. Mm. Patience. Come on now. We're going to talk about what does it mean to wait in expectancy? So when people mm. leave that cruise ship, I'm telling you, they're going to be on fire. And then to top it off, we uh, have some jump amazing, jump <laughs> amazing performers. And so Stokely, woo -wee, from Men Condition, uh, mm. former member of Men Condition, now a solo uh, career. And uh, this brother is something else, a musical genius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then our, our headliner, my sister, Terry Ellis, who's on my board, and her sisters from In Vogue. So In Vogue will be headlining. When I listen, free your mind and the rest will follow. Rest will follow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Colorblind, don't be so shallow. Be so shallow. <laughs> I gotta tell you what really blew me away. So God had already given me the theme and everything of freedom. When the gentleman Julio said to me that the name of the ship was Freedom of the Seas. I said, you know what? I just need to lay down and do some snow angles and roll over and then run around and then lay back on the floor and do some more snow angles. <laughs> like, there is no coincidence that we're on the freedom nope. of the sea. Mm -mm. That is Not no at coincidence. All. So again, Not at all. God is no respecter of person. If he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you. I am just being obedient. I don't let people waste my time and I don't waste my time and that has made me effective and efficient at being mm -hmm. able to do what i need to do so we're excited oh. really excited oh my goodness <laughs> yes I, I, i'm looking forward i'm totally looking forward to it i just anything that better me and that's right makes make me a better person to serve others right so it's not about me that's it's right. about me having the tools to be able to serve others better. That's and right. ladies and, and gentlemen, um, are gentlemen uh, uh, welcome as well? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of brothers, a lot of couples who are coming, students. Okay. Very, okay. very exciting. Right. Good. So before I, okay, so I'm going to get on my soapbox. So ladies and yeah. gentlemen, okay, <laughs> you have to invest in yourself. Yes. You have to invest in you. Everything, don't get me wrong, you're still gonna have fun here. As you hear, you're gonna oh, have entertainment, yeah. you're gonna have, oh, you know. It's gonna be you know, so fun. That's the cruise, that's the ship alone is, is enough, but she's giving you extra stuff on top of that. Right. So you're gonna be able to have fun, but you have to invest in yourself. Yes. You're never gonna change if you don't change. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about it today, you gotta be consistent, you gotta put time in you, you gotta do the work. This is yeah. something you can do work and have fun at the same time. That's you're going right. to be inspired. You're going to learn new things. You're going to have a nice little tube belt full of new um, ideas, new belief systems, new processes, and be entertained. You cannot oh, yeah. go wrong you with this. That. You can't beat that. Ooh. Like they said back in the day with a baseball bat. You can't beat that with a baseball <laughs> bat. So, <laughs> I so I ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I know I used to say that. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you don't mind giving them a little information, I see, I, as as you notice, as I always do on the bottom of my screen, you have all her social medias on the bottom of the screen scrolling most of the show. So yeah. you'll be able to go back and get that information. But just for the people who are interested in the cruise, what should they do? Well, there is a number and I don't have the number right here handy, 
with me. Shame on me. I should have had it right here. But uh, there is a number. We'll make sure that you have the flyers so that mm -hmm. you can uh, give them the numbers because there are certain numbers that you have to call depending on where you live. Um, yes, because actually I know the Carolinas have a separate number and California exactly. has a separate number. And then it's right. a triple A number. So it's a triple A, um, three phone numbers on triple A. That's right. And because um, I I already looked into it. So that gives you a hint, wink, wink. Because <laughs> I'm in Carolina, yes. so I have to hold a different number. So the <laughs> Carolinas, and you just make right. one phone call, and it does it all. And they'll take care of it for you. So They'll take care um, of making the reservations for you. And then... Um, after uh <clears throat> you make the reservations you can put a deposit down um mm -hmm. and then you can pay on it uh, and i believe the the date for payment is may 31st is when the mm -hmm. final payment has to be in so you have a okay. bit of time and so that mm -hmm. helps you know with budgeting as well yes it does and then mm -hmm. of course you got to get your flight to miami do you get your That's own your flight or a will help you yeah. with that they can help with they can help with that as well okay yeah okay and you come out of port you know, Miami. There, are discounts, there are discounts associated with what they do you know they're just mm -hmm. going to the the airlines and getting it but this we wanted to ensure that the cruise was affordable so i said to them mm -hmm. it's got to stay in this price range you know so uh we want people we have a number of people who've never cruised before who are trusting oh, so this gonna be their first cruise? This is their first cruise, yes. Right now, they first yeah. cruise with yeah. this. See, you know what? You're gonna spoil them, right? Because what's gonna oh, happen is they're yeah. gonna go their first cruise with yes. all the little treats you're giving, with the entertainment, oh, yes. with the information. They're gonna go back to another cruise and go, okay, what is this? Wait a minute. <laughs> Like they don't That's what I'm not gonna say it. all the time. <laughs> we spoil, we do. We spoil people, we give lots of gifts, we give lots of love, we take care of people, we give good food. So yes, people always say, Oh, people don't treat They're us gonna like, be like wait a minute. Whoa. What are we doing later? Like, what do you mean? You just on your own. <laughs> oh, so I do have like, these okay, what in the world. I do have the numbers and I can I can say them out loud right now. Um, so you can call if you're in the Carolinas, 877-912-8747. So again, if you're in the Carolinas, 877-912-8747. If you're in Colorado, oh, Colorado. Colorado is 866-212-8639. Let me repeat that. If you're in Colorado, 866-212-8639. And then all other states, you can call 1-877-371-5757. Let me repeat that. 877 Three seven one five seven five seven, and so that's how you make reservations by calling either one of those numbers depending on where you're located. All right, we got it. So I'll let that scroll for a minute so everybody can get those numbers for you. And um, so when you come back from the cruise, you'll be ready to go and conquer the world. <laughs> 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 well, let me, let me say this. We do have another event before before our August uh, event. Our Tea Party program has been highly successful. It's a global okay. program where we bring people together uh, to eat and have tea and to mm -hmm. learn and celebrate sisterhood. So for Women's History Month next month, March 26th, we're having oh. uh, we have a sister court chapter at the Ohio State University. And so we're having a tea party in Columbus, Ohio. But what's really cool is we have, we're going to uh, have a virtual stream for the morning session, which is going to be really fire. Let me just tell you. Um, and um, 
Yes. And so you can go to Eventbrite and just search on the sister court and um, you can, uh, students are free and oh. um, adults are $50. And mm -hmm. um, the first 150 people to buy a ticket will get an amazing special love gift from the sister accord that you, everybody will want this gift. And so <laughs> you, can join us, you can join us from around the world. Uh, and then in person, all of the student mm -hmm. seats are filled, but we have just uh, maybe about 20 uh, adult seats left in person, but we have plenty of virtual seats. And so I would love for your listeners and your sorors and your network to join us on, on March 26th from 10 a.m. to 12 is the virtual uh, session. It's a virtual. Okay, so right here, as you see, all the information will be in her social media. So she posts everything on there. So oh, yeah. if you could go through there, you'll be able to see the flyer because I did see the flyer for the Ohio State. Okay. As well as for okay. the cruise, you'll see the flyer for that. And like you said, a lot of people re-watch um, this episode, I mean, my episodes. So they'll be able to get the right. phone number as well as the information with the social media. And they'll be, again, in contact with you. If, you know, do you, are you looking for volunteers um, to join your organization? Are you looking for our chapters, new chapters to be? Oh, absolutely. Always. Always. Okay, so if you are interested, reach out. We need, if we're yeah. going to get to a billion, we need all hands on deck. So absolutely. So what does a chapter look like? Like when you get a chapter started, what, what do you do from there? Do you have like certain events? Do you, what do you yep. do? Yep. They do a lot of uh, community service. They do fundraising events, but it's about leadership development because you said it earlier, where do we learn this stuff? Right? Where are we sitting mm -hmm. down learning about leadership development and, and making sure that we have healthy relationships. We don't get that. And so, all of our chapters focus on the curriculum from the book. So 51 ways to love your sister book is, mm -hmm. um, is a foundation of, of everything that we talk about. What mm -hmm. are those everyday things that we can do to speak life into ourselves and into our sisters? And then, uh, they decide what they want to do. Everything has to come back to those pillars of what we mm -hmm. talked about different chapters will want to focus on different things. So in Malawi, we're doing job uh, building, uh, job skills. Uh, we have one young lady in Malawi who wants to be a mechanic. She's never seen a female mechanic in her life, but she's really? dreaming. And so we're helping her so that she learns how to be a mechanic. She's a car fanatic like me. And so wow. we do whatever the needs of the group, the organization, that's what we focus on. It doesn't have to be one cookie cutter approach, but everything right. has to funnel back to the core principles of the organization. Wow. Th that's what I'm talking about right there. She, and she will be it. I'm telling you. I, yeah, I'm a car person too. My father being in General <laughs> Motors, that's all we yes. know. <laughs> um, yeah, I love cars too. Believe me, oh, I've yeah. always been a car person. So yeah, I, my family is the GM family. All my father, everybody, and so I, I again started that path, went down the board path. But my whole family is a GM family. Oh, they, they are okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my father used to get on me. I brought a first foreign car. He almost had a fit. He, <laughs> they ain't pay for you to go to college. <laughs> GM pay for college. <laughs> GMP for your lesson. GMP. I said, oh my gosh, daddy, please. <laughs> I've heard that before as well. <laughs> you heard it? <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh my goodness. Like, I can't drive nothing else but GM. He, he didn't, he didn't yeah. touch nothing but GM. <laughs> so I totally get it. I totally get it. That is crazy. I totally appreciate you coming on here today. Oh, I'm so honored. I just just to give people that 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 hope and that they know it's possible you know yeah. and they probably saw you or saw you before you know sometimes you see that face like wait a minute, I, did, yeah. I did see her on today's show i did see her on the <laughs> you know what i'm saying because they had to you know kind of put the face with everything in the name so it's it's out there for everyone you know just serve our job is to serve he brought yeah. us here to serve we're not here to serve us. We're here to serve others. And guess what happens? Other people serve you. 
you just Amen. serve others other people serve you everybody gets served at the end of the day so yeah. you know let's yeah. make it bigger than us bigger than ourselves yeah let's serve our community yeah. he will definitely bless you for 10 times over so but you know so before we um head out i got a couple of things i'm going to do uh talk about before i head out but i wanted to make sure i give you the platform so is there anything you want else you want to share with us before you um we close out tonight I just, I'm so, again, so very thankful for you to invite me to be here with you. I, I'm so humbled and honored. I take these opportunities very seriously, very seriously, because it's not about me. And you just said that a moment ago. And so I never know who God is sending. I never know where they'll be. So I have to just show up. And I have to be That's ready right. to show up. And so I just mm -hmm. thank you for this opportunity. And I just wish mm -hmm. and hope and pray that every single person that hears this, that sees this, will pause for a moment. I call it the power of the pause. Mm -hmm. Will pause just for a moment and say, what do I truly desire in life? And how can I use my gifts and talents to get to what I desire and then mm -hmm. write it down, make it plain and then decide. You have to choose. You have to say, OK, this is what I am going to do to move forward. And I just hope and wish and pray that everyone who sees or hears this will take the time to do that. That's right. They, that, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful, beautiful ending right there. So before we leave out today, I just wanted to touch a couple of things. Just make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to Let's Talk 1943. We do appreciate that. You know, we've been here two years and, you know, we couldn't do it without y'all. So thank y'all so much once again. I'm humble, humble and appreciate um, you taking your time out to listen and watch our show. Uh, we are on TikTok as well as Facebook, on Instagram, we on LinkedIn, we on um twitter so we all over all over the platform so just make sure you check us out as well as anchor fm we do have the um and that's been growing amazingly i've been so blessed about the platform of the podcast the podcast is something that <laughs> our podcast is doing wonderful um actually uh, our next show will be the end of next month it will be the 23rd if i'm not mistaken of march let me just make sure i usually have my date um it will be march 26 sorry about that march 26 we have recording artist felicia adams she um been around for a while she's done some amazing stuff and we're going to talk about her new lp that's coming out as well as a new book that kind of goes with the lp we got a lot to talk about so we're gonna have recording artist felicia adams on our next show next month looking forward to talking to her um, and catching up with her i used to work with her back in the day when i was in the, in the industry so i'm so glad that my sister will be on the show we can talk and catch up on that so but um thank you once again so much so much sonia jackson miles this has been a blessing that you've been here today uh, thank you and I, I really believe in you and i believe in what you're doing and that's why i will be coming on your cruise because i need <laughs> everyone else we need to be fed we need to be fed because you know when you're the one always giving and always you know yeah you have to be fed because you have to be able to like replenish That's you know right. you know when you're in this kind of position of being a, a life coach and you talk oh, yeah. and you give everybody advice i have to yeah. get myself back up too so yeah. things like this is investing in me yes right sister thank you i'm so honored I can't oh, wait to no. see you. I can't wait to I, hug your neck. I know, <laughs> like a real, like not virtual, right? Like the real, real. <laughs> the real, real. But just hold on before you um, you um, click off today. But I want to thank you again. Let's talk 1943. I am I'm glad and humble and blessed for you to be here. And um, just check us out on all the platforms. Be able to watch the show again. Please share the show. I hope this touches someone. I know it touches me. So until next time, God bless and you have a good one.